Hey yo, what is happening guys? This is Elightning Chick coming at you with another video. So today we have some interesting news. Final Fantasy VII Remake has been getting a few trademarks. So Square Enix trademarked uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate, Labyrinth Striker, and Final Bar Line in Japan. So I'll give my thoughts on it later on. But right here, Square Enix filed trademarks of Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate, uh, Labyrinth Striker, and final uh, bar line uh, on May 12th in Japan, which was made public today. Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate is already available for the PS5 and PC via Epic Game Store, but with the news of the Final Fantasy uh, VII 25th anniversary planned for June, the trademark might have something to do with it. Now, this is very interesting. I personally think that. Uh, I in a previous video I said that uh, there'll be a PlayStation showcase for the Final Fantasy 7 brand, but it seems like it's most likely Square is going to do its own thing for Final Fantasy 7. Seems like they have a lot to announce for Final Fantasy 7. So with this whole integrate thing, I think that means it's going to be available on Xbox. I think it may be going to Xbox. So yeah. The trademark of Labyrinth Strike is actually a combination of both words. At the end of the spelling, Labyrinth is the start of the spelling of Striker. It is difficult to guess what the English equivalent could be here, but our best guess is Labyrinth Striker. Now what could this actually be? To me it sounds like something of a... I want to say a fighting game, but again I don't think that's going to happen. I would really like for it to be a fighting game. Uh, because, yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool. It's either that or a new gotcha type thing, where it's similar to Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, uh, and maybe that, and it's gonna be like a pocketed, uh, its own thing. That's what I'm guessing, but again, I don't see that as a thing, because Final Fantasy VII... Uh, Ever Crisis is coming out, and that's uh, you know Final Fantasy VII, and it's basically um, a remaster of the original for phones, and it's like its own little thing. So, Labyrinth Striker, I think, could be a fighting game. Will it be a mobile-only fighting game? Most likely. I don't think it's gonna have a console release. Most likely a free-to-play uh, style game. Think of something like Blaze Blue uh, with their phone mobile game where it's like a side scrolling and you have to fight uh, mobs and then there's still PvP elements and all of that. So maybe it's something like uh, the Blaze Blue game on the App Store. Maybe that could be what's happening on the place. It's also on the Play Store and stuff. So yeah. I think that's what they're going for. It's either going to be a mobile fighting game or a mobile side-scrolling beat-em-up game. That's that's just my uh, thoughts on it. Probably n not going to be either. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on Labyrinth Striker. It's very interesting because... Yeah, it's just interesting. <laughs> just the, the word Striker uh, has me thinking that it's going to be like a beat-em-up or a fighter. In music, the final bar line is the last... Uh, bar line in a composition so it's possible that final bar line trademark is for the subtitle of a new rhythm game very interesting I actually thought it'd be like a you know like a bar simulator like you play as Tifa and you manage in seventh haven you know like um, and you make all the drinks and stuff and you just serve it to people Th that's what I thought because of bar and line, like there's a long line, there's a bar, final as in Final Fantasy. That's what I thought, so like, I thought it would be like, oh you play as Tifa, uh, then you unlock Cloud, you unlock Jess, you unlock Barret, you unlock probably Sephiroth, why not? And if they just serve drinks to the customers. <laughs> that's, um, that's uh, what I thought when I heard of it first, but I mean it could be a rhythm game. Maybe it'll be the Melody of Memories type game. Please don't let that happen. But maybe it'll be like um, 
on mobile most likely it'll just be a mobile thing because the only thing I see that's coming to console is the Final Fantasy 7 remake integrate and if they want probably this bar line game because that striker one I can see most likely being a if it is a fighting game and if they bring it to consoles I'll be really shocked but I don't really uh, I wouldn't put money on it <laughs> but uh, yeah that's those are the three trademarks so honestly there are a lot of things we have to think about when it comes to these so like I said uh, Final Fantasy 7 remake integrate that's most likely going to be that was re uh, trademarked because it's gonna be coming to the Xbox store most likely um, and again I don't think it's gonna be oh it's coming to PlayStation 4 because they just re they just trademarked integrate I don't think that's going to happen uh, because again the whole selling point for the PS5 upgrade was uh, integrated, so I don't think uh, them giving it on PS4 will make that much sense l later. I mean, it may happen, may not, but I think it's more or less likely for an Xbox release. Labyrinth Striker, again, could be a side-scrolling beat-em-up or a fighting game for phones. And final bar line, it is hopefully a good rhythm game. Or a bartender simulator with Tifa and the gang. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Now the question is when will it all be revealed? Now most likely, like I said, I thought there was going to be a play PlayStation State of Play for Final Fantasy next month because Final Fantasy 16 and Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2 all have news and trailers that they want to show. But this doesn't seem like it's going to be the case. Most likely Square is going to have its own thing. And it looks like the uh, remake 25th anniversary uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2 information next month will have these three trademarks uh, be public. Like with the trailers and showing what it is and stuff. So... Most likely they will show it at this and Final Fantasy 16 will just be put in a state of play in June maybe and then it'll be a banger with like God of War release date, Final Fantasy 16 release date and so on and so forth. But honestly I feel next month will have two things. So a state of play with Final Fantasy, 7, 6, Final Fantasy 16 and God of War Ragnarok and whatever else they want to show there and Final Fantasy 7 will have its own like live stream or its own little event where they'll showcase that Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2 is real and just give a teaser trailer and uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake Integrate will be coming to Xbox again I don't think it's gonna come to PlayStation 4 I just don't see it happening, but most likely it's going to just go to straight to the Xbox Series X. Um, so that's possible. And then the other two. So Labyrinth Strike, maybe they'll show it's a mobile fighter game or mobile side scroller. And then the final one, I am hoping that it is my idea of the Tifa. Cloud, Aerith, just everyone, even Sephiroth, Red 13, that'd be pretty cool, and Hojo, maybe, uh, <laughs> uh, Hojo, all of them just serving drinks to everyone in 7th Haven, I would like that, I honestly generally want that, but yeah guys, that, that is it for this video, leave like helps me a lot, comment down in the comment section down below. What you guys think, share with friends, because sharing is caring, and most importantly, subscribe to become a fellow lightning bolt. Anyway guys, that is it for this video, and as always, this is the lightning chate. Uh, blaze out.